Hey everybody and welcome back to World of Warcraft, the Burning Crusade Classic Beta. This is our Draenei leveling campaign. We're going to take this character through Ozer Mist and Blood Mist Isles. And sorry guys, I meant to have this video up sooner, but the server was actually down earlier today. And they had a PvP server up in its place, uh, which I messed around on for a little bit. You couldn't even make a fresh level 1 character, it was just creating characters at level 58. And I got back on this evening. And now the server is back up, and our character is thankfully still here. And so thank you guys for, for being here and for the support. I really do appreciate it. We're gonna work our way back up here because... We have to kill the named guy that we already killed. We killed him when we got an item that started a quest. And the name of that quest is the exact same as the quest we were just given to go kill him. Her. It's kind of weird. And for those of you guys waiting to see a, a Blood Elf campaign, I'm, I'm actually going to wait. I'm going to wait until pre-patch to do that because I actually, I'm going to level a Blood Elf Paladin as an alt for the Burning Crusade. And so I really only want to do the zones once. I, I don't want to... I don't have a target. I don't want to go through them twice in such a short period of time. And I, I don't think we would be able to finish the Ghostlands by the time pre-patch hit. We, not with doing this character as well. So there will be a Blood Elf campaign. That will be starting uh, the day of pre-patch, which is the 18th. Uh, I guess we could have went this way. We need to get up here into the tent. Looks like we have a little bit of help here. Not enough mana. Okay, so there we go. We got the completion for killing her. We already looted the item previously to start the next part of the quest, so that's that's done. We don't have to worry about that. And this does not turn into him, this turns in back at the crash site. Uh, which is all the way up there. We could hearth. Might not be a bad time to do that, seeing as how we don't have anything else to do on the way. Okay, there we go, it's back here. I was getting worried when we weren't seeing this pop up. Uh, apparently he's all the way out back. Arcanon Poros. I thank you for dealing with the Blood Elf Surveyor. Surely she was their leader. Rest assured, 
We will deal. Okay. Well, that's the server going down. We'll see if we can get back in. Uh, luckily, we were able to get right back in. Might have been just a random disconnect. Might not have been the whole server going down. I'm not sure. The Legion will fall. Let's try that again. Uh, let's see. Uh, please take one of these weapons as a sign of my gratitude. We are going to take the mace. Yeah, the one-handed mace. Welcome back. Yeah, it looks like the server probably just crashed. I think part of this is probably a stress test, which is why they invited so many people. Here, let me read those plans. The Blood Elves have followed us here? They are evil to the core and should be wiped from existence. The Vindicator takes a moment to regain his composure. I apologize. That was uncalled for. We are indebted to you for uncovering this information. While you were out investigating the Shadow Ridge, Hazana here has been going on about the holographic emitter. You might want to speak with her. Remember the lessons of the past. Kronakai Christor. I got it. I think I managed to fix the emitter. Here, I'll just activate this last crystal and that should do it. Take a look at the emitter. It looks like it's beginning to work. Someone is appearing. Who are you? By the seven Atomic Crystals, others have survived the crash. Zana, is that you? It is so good to see you again. That's it. Oh, here we go. And who do we have here? No doubt, this communication possible? I give you greetings for as your watch. And yes, that's my best static noise. Judging by your signal, we put you southeast of the larger part of the island we crashed onto. Cross the Crystal Brook River. We've already named the rivers. They might have had some other name. No, we renamed everything here. I mean, the Draenei I do that. When they, when they cr crashed on Draenor, the Orc homeworld, they named it. They said, yeah, this is Draenor now. Yep, we named it after ourselves. We know that you were here first, Orcs, but we named the planet. Seek the path of the light. Like, until then, it had no name. By all that is good, you must go at once to this Azure Watch and speak with Duvian, or Divoon. There is a path that leads west off the tiny isle. Follow it across the Crystal Brook River to arrive on the larger part of the isle. Continue to follow the path and you should find Azure Watch. See if you can convince them to send us some aid and supplies. The rest of us will follow when we can. Safe journey. Alright, yeah, we're heading off the uh, starter island here. Uh, I'm hoping that we got every quest done. I, I don't feel like... I don't feel like I remember anything that we haven't done. So that's good. No alarm bells are going off. Yeah, I need to not forget that these guys are aggressive. We can kind of run past them. Because we're out-leveling them. But I, I don't want to aggro a bunch. I'm also hoping there's a, sh a trainer at Azure Watch because I realize we probably should have trained our level 6 abilities. Probably would have been a good idea. I just really love this area a lot. It really is one of my favorite areas in the game. It's so easy to get immersed into the game here. Everything kind of comes together, like the color palette is great. 
It's very atmospheric. It's got this purple mist. The music is really good. It, it feels tranquil and yet like mysterious in such a way that it's, it still feels like there's danger here. Even though like on the surface, everything is this, this beautiful lush forest. May the light embrace you. Uh, let's see, I found that these waters are bustling with red snapper, a very tasty fish. With a fishing net, I can catch enough to feed dozens of Draenei. Unfortunately, I was recently attacked by a creature known as a murloc while netting in the river and have suffered some injuries that prevent me from doing my job. All right, we're going to take the fishing net and catch some fish. May your days be long and your hardships. I like how they have a quest here that introduces you to the fishing profession. I feel like more quests would have done a better job like early on of kind of like you do a quest for a profession and that way you you learn about it and you can kind of decide is this something I want my character to do? Otherwise, you have to seek them out on your own. Nothing guides you to professions in the game. This is the first quest in in the game that I've seen like chronologically that has guided you to a profession and even this isn't having you actually practice the profession to do the quest you know ideally they could have had you train fishing and then actually gone and fished you know that way you've learned a profession with the hope that you know if you find that interesting you could keep doing that Maybe I should just bring this out to an action bar. There we go. My mana is low. Yeah. Did we up did we equip that mace that we got? No. No, we didn't. Let's take care of that now. There we go, a little DPS boost. See, this is another quest where we, we have to compete with players for these nodes. Like, who's going to get it first? Whoops. <laughs> Wrong button, so he's going to get it first. Let's head this way. Maybe we will diverge a little bit here. Alright, we have five. Don't recall how many we need. Oh, we need 10. We need a lot. They do seem to be respawning though, that's good. As most of you guys already probably know about me, I'm not a huge fan of water quests. I don't like fighting in the water for a lot of reasons. One of them is that it's kind of immersion breaking because it often doesn't make sense. We're casting lightning bolts in the water that we're standing in. Hmm, sure. But also it makes it difficult to see the enemy, you have weird camera angles. 
This wasn't so bad. Being right on the coast isn't so bad. Alright, let's head back down and turn this in, and then we'll, we will move on. Don't think she's going to have a follow-up to this. It would have been nice to also have a cooking trainer here, maybe done a quest for them. Maybe we'll do that in town, I don't, I don't know, I don't remember. Greetings, friend. I hope the murlocs didn't cause too much trouble. I owe you a great debt of gratitude for all you've done. Perhaps I could teach you how to fish. So they kind of lead you right into it. They even give you the tools, so that's good. I just don't know if they ever continue to do anything more like that for the other professions. You did a wonderful job. Our people will be thankful for this bounty. With that said, would you mind taking this haul of red snapper to Ektion at Azure Watch? Dionysaka. Another breadcrumb for free experience, uh, definitely will do. And welcome to Azure Watch. Warm wishes to you. Of course I've got a job for you. We're always looking for hunters. Hopefully you'll fare, fare better than the Draenei we had to send back to the Exodar <laughs> for burial. I'm joking. That was like the weirdest, creepiest laugh I've ever heard in this game. Got a little unnerved there. I'm joking, you should have seen the look on your face. They got sent back to the Exodar for treatment of minor wounds, nothing that they won't recover from. What do you think of my armor? Crafted it myself. It's a little different than what we traditionally wear, but extremely comfortable. Yeah, it looks like it was freshly sewn together. Poor Dick Dicknia. That Murloc gave her quite a scare. Yeah, I'll never say that right, I'm not gonna try again. Hopefully she will recover from her injuries soon. So I presume you're looking for work. Well, there's plenty of that to be found at Azure Watch. Be well. Each day is a blessing. You're starting to make a name for yourself. How about trying your hand at hunting? Back on Draenor, our greatest hunters would hunt a beast and resemble, or that resemble the moon gray stags of this region known as Talbuk. If you think yourself Draenei enough, go out into the wilds and kill enough stags to fill your pack with meat. And you will find them grazing south of Azure Watch. Watch out for their horns. Dionys Haka. Let's turn in the other breadcrumb over here. Arcanon Poros. Ah, good to see you again. I'm glad that we were both able to get our emitters fixed, or we might never have found one another. And don't worry, we'll see to it that Amonval gets help and supplies. Speaking of assistance, now that you're here. Go around, introduce yourself to the others. I know that there's plenty to do. May your days be long, and your hardships few. The Nauru have not forgotten us. Let's see, if you've not yet learned how to make use of bandages, I'll be happy to show you the basics of creation and application. The difference between life and death can often come down to properly bandaging wounds. I found that the lashers milling about on the island hold restorative medicinal properties in their vein, in their vines. Through proper treatment, the vines can be broken down into a powerful healing ointment. Unfortunately, with so many injured Draenei passing through Azure Watch, we are always in short supply. Our delicate guest has found, was found injured and unconscious by the Crystal Brook only yesterday. If you bring me vines, we may be able to save her. Alright, root trappers will be south and east. 
Be kind to those less fortunate. Let's get some of these tracking. We only have the two. Are one of these an inn? Not this one. Here is the shaman trainer over here. That's very convenient for us. Let's take a look. Akal uh, Hekta. We can we can learn Earthbind Totem. Healing Wave rank two, and that's it. Peace for you. Alright, let's take a quick break here, and when we come back, we will head south and east. We'll be looking for Root Trappers and Moongraze Stags. Thank you guys so much for being here with me today. I greatly appreciate the support. Let me know what you think of the series, and I'd also love to hear from you guys about your plans for Burning Crusade and for Prepatch, so let me know what you're thinking. Take care of yourselves out there, take care of each other, and we will see you back at Azure Watch really soon. Bye now.